Okay, besties, I've been trying to get my head wrapped around this entire ordeal. I have tea time. I have tea time with Aya right now because, let's be honest, it's, it's, it's kind of been on my mind. It's been on my mental. It's been, it's been giving me unnecessary stress, you know? And I'm just ready to get it off my chest. Um... I have been having these very vivid dreams and it's been like taking me out of my reality a little bit. They're like, they're like just in visions of the past and like, I don't know how to feel because they're with this certain person who like, who I did love. Like, it, it was different. It was a love that I've never envisioned, like I never thought was possible. And we were separated and we had this big blowout. It was like, it was like the hardest blowout that I've ever gone through. And instead of staying and fighting for the relationship, I just said, fuck it. I just said like, hey, my life is literally in shambles. I don't know what the fuck to do. I can process what spirit had for me. And I kind of felt like at that moment, I just couldn't, I couldn't be. I couldn't be, you know? Like, I felt trapped. I felt stuck in a routine. And so my my boyfriend at the time for like, I don't know, six months, we like, I don't know, we, we got into this argument. Well, not even an argument, but it was just like, I felt so misunderstood and like, my needs weren't being met. My needs weren't being met. And so, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, we kind of grew away from each other. But now, like, I don't even know, fast forward, like, a year later, I'm having these really vivid dreams of, like, an ex and I don't know if this is like normal to like miss someone like this and like I try not to I try not to really think too hard about the situation because it's like Because it's like, it, 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 it was done so long ago. Like the, our last conversation was like literally years ago. And it was honestly, it's confusing when you have these dreams, these vivid dreams about you two and like what could have been. And then you wake up and you realize, like, my life is so different. Like, how could I even, like, what are you trying to tell me, spirit? And I just, with circumstances, with the way things are currently, I don't know if I should hold on to now or what my mind has altered or made me to think it's possible. So that's the, I guess I'm just saying that like, take deep breaths, please. Bestie, I love you. Bestie, you are loved. Bestie, you are absolutely amazing. And I'm so proud of the progress that you made. And I know this love stuff can be confusing. <laughs> so please, bestie, don't. 
don't get overwhelmed by it. Um, Bestie, you are amazing. Don't even, don't even sweat it. The power people are here. Or the water people are here. So, Bestie, Bestie, you that bitch. Don't sweat it. The right one will come. I don't know what that means, but it felt like it needed to be said. Clarity will wash over you and love and prosperity will continue to flourish. Keep watering your garden. Keep tending to your needs. Love yourself and put you first. Act with intention. Act from a place of love. Be present in every moment. And be true to who you are. Live in your authenticity. Authenticity. Sorry. <laughs> but peace out, Girl Scout. Oh shit. Peace. Bye. <laughs>